Hey guys, I want to share with you uh, some data about the hypothalamus. It's kind of a mysterious gland. It's up in the brain. It's this little gland that is the size of an almond, okay? And then the pituitary is the size of a pea. So they're very, very small. But let's start with the hypothalamus. Like, what is the hypothalamus? Hypo meaning below thalamus. So there's a structure in the brain called the thalamus. It's right below it, the size of an almond. It's a very important um, gland because it's composed of about 11 to, tw um, it's actually 10 to 11 small little bundles of nerves. They're called nuclei. And these little centers are pre-programmed um, kind of controls like blueprints that tell the body to do certain things. So the hypothalamus has a goal of adapting the body to the environment to help it survive. So it's constantly getting feedback from the body and it's adjusting different things. Like for example, uh, it controls sweating, blood pressure. It controls stress reaction. It controls leptin, which has to do with your uh, fat um, being burned and also your satiety and your metabolism. The GI, it controls thirst, uh, certain emotions like a rage, it can affect that. Uh, female sex hormones, satiety, tranquility, uh, pleasure centers are up here. Uh, water balance, fluid, electrolytes, hydration. Uh, there's a little center that's called the suprachiasmic nuclei. And that center con uh, controls like it's a little clock that's built into your brain that tells you when to go to sleep and when to wake up. So it's a whole circadian rhythm control off that. And then the thermostat. So if it's cold out, you'll shiver. And this little center will cause the body to do that. Um, stress, uh, sex. So if you ever notice that if you're too stress, your sex drive might go down because they're both in the same center. Uh, fluid, wakefulness, uh, heartbeat, temperature. Um, so there's a lot of different um, like life basic functions that are up in the brain that basically constantly are controlling the body. Okay, so that's what the hypothalamus does. It basically keeps uh, certain things at a constant. So it brings things down to a a level is called homeostasis, which is basically the ability to adapt to your environment to maintain a certain constancy. Um, just like if you have um, blood sugar, you have to have a normal 90 to 100, or temperature 98.6, so that's kind of what's set here. So you, you're sleeping at seven hours, so basically you go to sleep when it gets tired and you wake up when it gets light, right? Well, that's all controlled by these little mini computer chips. And then we have down here communication on the pituitary. The pituitary is like the relay switch. It's like the middleman. It's like the coach of the football team. So you have the owner, the coach, and the players. Players are the organs down here in the glands. So you have this whole hierarchy of, um, of different things. So you have the owner that sends the, you know, what to do. Um, and the coach actually gives the um, information out to the players. And same thing like an organization, you have the CEO or the manager, that would be a better example because the manager is gonna like relay what the goals of the CEO are for the company and make sure it gets done. So down here, the messages are integrated and coordinated to the different organs, like they have the liver, you have the adrenal stress gland, the gonads, that would be testicles and ovary, and then the thyroid, pancreas, there's a couple of the glands, a couple of the organs. So you have these messages that are sent down here. Um, and then once the messages are given to a, adrenal, for example, then the adrenal has to perform that function. So when it does it, then it sends another signal back up, letting the pituitary know, okay, we did it. So that feedback loop connects, and then the message can turn off. So they have this entire communication system that's going from down here all the way back here, up here all day long. And it's hap it happens really, really fast. So the endocrine system as a whole is the superior communication system that travels through the blood. Um, that's the messages that go through the blood. Um, so the endocrine system is composed of glands that make hormones or messages and the communication lines that happen through the blood. But what's interesting about the hypothalamus is that it's half gland and half nerve, nervous system. So there are nerve connections too that attach this hypothalamus to the pituitary. Um, so it's kind of an interesting thing. So it's kind of like a a mixed breed. But anyway, just so you know, there's several things that can mess this whole system up. Number one, 
your environment, if you live under a constant stress state, that will destroy this whole system over time. Uh, you're eating. If you're eating junk food, you're not getting the nutrition in your body. That will destroy this. If you have certain types of surgery, surgically, you can um, have something removed, like taking the thyroid out. It puts stress somewhere else. Menopause, let's say you have your, um, you're no longer using your ovaries. Well, that's going to add more stress to the adrenal. So you have all these things that can happen. And then, of course, you have the chemicals, and they're called endocrine disruptors. Those are any chemical in the environment, including pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, that can interfere and act like hormones, mainly estrogen. And you're seeing it now with the growth hormones, uh, I'm sorry, the, the um, GMO foods. And that basically has an estrogenic effect and on your body. So it's giving your body way too much estrogen. And that's messing up the glands, uh, creating cancer and, and whatnot. And then sometimes when you have like a major stress in your body, you can actually have so much return communication that you can grow a tumor on your pituitary. So there's a lot of things that can happen along the way, but that just kind of gives you a summary of exactly what the hypothalamus is, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. And also I have a quiz down below in the description box. Go ahead and take that, and that will help you find out your underlying cause. Thanks for watching.